By the time this video goes up, this may be old news, but I felt like it was worth talking about still. World War 3 is on its way to finally going free to play, but Farm 51, the developers of the game, addressed some ongoing issues regarding matchmaking. This affects the planned March free to play release, so let's get into why this is happening. Before I get into the bulk of the video, I just want to remind you that if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons as that always helps me out, and to follow my Twitter and Twitch, which you can find links to in the description down below. Alright, now on to the video. In a blog update on March 21st, Farm51 went on to mention the following issues for matchmaking. Players receiving the something went wrong error during matchmaking. Endless matchmaking does not result in players finding matches, players not properly joining ongoing matches, and unbalanced teams created during matchmaking. While I haven't seen these particular errors myself, it's apparent that enough players in the closed beta test are experiencing this and warranted looking into. I know that Farm51 mentioned in a previous update that matchmaking issues were resolved, but it's definitely possible that these new issues arose after the last update. From what I understand, game development and anything that requires coding in general usually has new bugs that show up after fixes are implemented. You know, fix one thing, break another. The devs go on to say that fixing these issues is currently their top priority and they wouldn't have been able to identify them without the help of those participating in the CBT. I'm glad we're seeing the community continue to support this game and report any bugs to the devs in a collaborative effort to get this game in ship shape. It's imperative that these matchmaking issues get sorted out as quickly as possible and before the game goes free to play. Kind of goes back to what I was saying in my last World War 3 video. The game needs to be functional, especially in technical terms like matchmaking, before going free to play to make sure that those that are diving into the game for the first time don't get a poor first time experience with the game before they even get into a match. As a result, this has delayed the free to play release, but that's okay. We didn't hit a March release date, but the game can just go free to play later. The top priority is getting the game in its best possible state. If you want to get involved, I recommend picking up the game while it's still in closed beta and joining the World War 3 Discord server. I just joined it myself and it has a pretty active user base, so you can usually find someone to chat with, at least in the general channel. If you wanted to wait until it's free to play, that's fine as well. The Discord is still open to everyone, so definitely check it out when you get a chance. For those that aren't already playing World War 3, the big question is this. Do I wait for the game to go free to play? Or do I pull the trigger and pay the $15 entry fee? Ultimately, that's up to you. But if you find yourself with some extra cash lying around and you want to support the devs prior to the free to play launch, by all means, buy into the CBT and have fun. Purchasing the game is a great way to help support the devs monetarily. And I firmly believe that these devs deserve all the support they receive. On the other side of things, even if you want to support the devs, but that $15 is the difference between eating and starving or being able to pay your bills, I recommend waiting. Most players are anticipating an April release now, so if you don't mind waiting just a little bit longer, you'll be able to get into World War 3 when it goes free to play. And that's about all I had for this one. Thanks for coming through and checking out this video. For those that have been around for a while, thanks for staying with me through my little hiatus. Among life events and technical issues, I'm glad to get back to making videos. I do have a lot of videos I want to make in the future, some that will venture off from the FPS genre, so I hope you'll check them out whenever they go live. As always, if you enjoyed what you saw, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, as that always helps me out. My social media can be found down below, including my Twitter and Twitch. With that being said, stay hydrated, I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.